<laughs> I'm just saying Blue Alive. This is it. Yeah. The Read Rate Review Book Club. We're here. <laughs> professional this is a book professional club? introductions. <laughs> This is how we enter, like, we can't get you on. <laughs> this is it, we're here, we're live. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Read Rate Review Book Club for April. Uh, today, it's going to be a little bit different, the schedule, from the past few book clubs, because I think for the first time in the many iterations of this book club, the majority of people didn't actually finish the book, so... What we'll do is we will nominate our picks for the next round and then we'll have a brief spoiler free section if anybody does have anything to say on Red Sister and then we'll just have a chill chat about any bookish things. So if anybody does want to have any questions for us, get those ready and should we just roll straight into the nominations? Jade, do you have your nomination ready? I, I don't have it ready, it's up there, but it's Kingdom of Souls by Raina Baron, maybe. Maybe by Raina Baron, hold on. <laughs> I think that's the name. I've what not read it. Oh, uh, yeah. It is Raina Baron, yeah. Yeah. The uh, witch doctor, and I think like she's a really terrible witch doctor and learns to trade years from her life for more power because there's like of course some sort of looming threat and this one person needs a lot of power so this one looming threat it looks really pretty and honestly that's my selling point it's a cool cover <laughs> yeah i have that one and witch doctors so fun yeah Yay. Nice. i do nice. love the cover a lot yeah, it's yeah. Good. the cover looks good start no. strong start no. Gee, what have you got <laughs> well, I can't wave it because I don't have it. <laughs> but it's called <laughs> Challenger Deep. It's by Neil Schusterman, who you might know from uh, the Scythe series. I don't know if it's called the Scythe series, actually. But Scythe, Thunderhead, and the third we're not going to talk about. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I don't know too much about it, but I do know that it's the way that I imagine it. It's like a C version of the loneliest girl in the universe where this guy, I think, I think alone, but might be with the crew. I'm not quite sure. Obviously, I've not read it. Um, is sent to the deepest point of the earth through the sea. <laughs> and um, he's completely like, kind of like taken with his thoughts and like lost in his thoughts and like obviously you have so much time to think and you're in a very weird situation because obviously that's not quite normal um but i also know it has something to do with schizophrenia as well not quite sure what but i know there's a connection so i'm kind of in, i'm just like overall very intrigued by this book haven't heard many people talk about it but yeah, play. could be interesting cody what have you got for us okay my nomination is Senlin Ascends by Josiah Bancroft. This is the first in an adult fantasy series I've heard a lot of good things about. It basically follows a man who's just been married and his wife is taken away and held captive in this tower and each level has like unique ways of killing someone and you have to go through these layers of a tower to go and save his wife, basically. <laughs> and Bex, what have you got? Considering no one read my book this month, um, <laughs> I get no nomination. <laughs> oh yes, oh, you yeah. got no nomination. But a, a oh. great pick. You you did you did really well. Okay, my uh, nomination is Witches of Ash and Ruin by a Latima. This is about a, a young witch who has like OCD and she lives in this very small Irish town and there are other like witch cults going on and things. And then one day these witches appear dead and there's like this witch hunter serial killer thing going on. And yeah, and, oh, and also she's outed as bisexual at school. So she has like a lot of stuff going on. And also, Jay, look at the back. It's got a tricorder from Charmed on it. How cool is that? Everyone. Does that. <laughs> I'm joking. <Yeah. laughs> uh, but yeah, this is my nomination. I think it looks so cool. I was supposed to read it a couple of months ago, but I keep forgetting. But it is on my owls. We'll see if I get to it. But I think it looks good. Yeah, yeah. I've never heard of it. But the only other book that I read that had some sort of like wishy fairy thing in Ireland was pretty cool. So. Ooh. 
Nice. And I have gone for City of Brass by S.A. Chakraborty. And I don't really know anything about this book in keeping with all of my nominations ever. Um, <laughs> I think it's Egyptian inspired fantasy. Um, something about a con woman who summons a djinn and goes to a mystical fantasy city. I don't, I don't really know. I'm not selling it very well, but I don't know much about it. But it sounds intriguing to me. And I think the final book in the trilogy comes out this summer. So if there was any time to get on the hype train, it's definitely now. Nice. And um, um, link oh. for people to vote. Sorry, I'm just gonna pop in the link into yeah. the thingy so people can vote already. Mm -hmm. Vote <laughs> away. And I guess we will have a little chat about Red Sister, if possible. If anybody has any thoughts, if chat has any spoiler-free thoughts, feel free to um, free feel to post away. Well, I love the title. Um, who, so, so <laughs> what, what was, did anybody get past 100 pages other than me and Cody? Me. Oh, yes. Nice. Good, 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 good. Oh, there's a couple, a couple. So why why so many DNFs? Gee, why, why did you DNF? Well, I got to 150. Yeah, 150, like, on the spot. In 28 days. <laughs> <laughs> so, it took me a little while. I was like eating at it, literally a chapter at a time. And I would swap between physical and the audiobook. I will say that I enjoyed physical like 10 times more than the audiobook because of all of the different accents that the narrator was doing. Yeah. I think I mentioned to a couple of you because it's just so funny to me that the accents done by the narrator, they were not bad accents as far as I can tell, but I also like. I'm foreign. I don't know if the accents are accurate. Like, they seem accurate to me. But so the accents were not the problem. It's the fact that it's about children and it made it sound like it's like really middle aged women <laughs> talking and saying childish things. And it was like a weird dynamic going on there. Um, but I just couldn't get into it. And the story, so this is not a spoiler, but the story kind of gems like back and forth a little bit, like just from like now to the backstory um, and the backstory part I just did not really care about at all and even the now bits I didn't really care about I just didn't really care I suppose I just tried really hard but I felt like every time I'm reading it I'm just really forcing it that being said though I don't know like the writing style was really nice and everything put together it seems like a book I would really enjoy but I didn't so it was a weird one I just couldn't get into it is that even with reading it physically? Still couldn't? Yeah, yeah. I don't know if I read it all physically, if it were different, but it's funny because I had this in my like five star read the first chapter challenge thing. And when I did read the first chapter, I bumped it down to four stars. So there must have been something that like even initially I didn't quite like. Mm. It is quite descriptive as well. And I think it definitely has a slow start, but I'm not the one that usually dislikes that a lot. But I felt like I didn't really care for the characters, like none of them at all. And they were all the girls were so interchangeable to me, I could not tell which one's which. <laughs> Even by 150 pages, which I know is not like that far into the book, it's like here. But also 150 pages, like I should know who's who. <laughs> so would you would you try it again then, or are you just it's done now? You're moving on. Well, at first I just kind of gave up because I thought we we're going to talk spoilers here. <laughs> but, um, so I don't know. I might give it another go, but probably not this year. Fair play. Do you have any thoughts on it, Gav? Well, <laughs> no I, I didn't actually start it at all. Um, so mm -hmm. I was supposed to have it on my March day VR, and then I have it on my owls. Um, so I'm going to have to try and fit the, you know, the prompt that I had for that one in somewhere. Um, but I mean, love the title. I think the cover looks amazing. <laughs> I'm pretty shy. It is a fantastic book. I just, yeah, I mean, I'm, I just don't think I would have cared. And, you know, given the, the day and age of now, you know, I just kind of wanted books where I could 
really escaped her and I don't think this would have been one for me. So I don't know, I'm just going through something right now where I just want to read things where I'm just going to escape. And yeah, I just, I need, I, 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 I'm on like book 55 or something so far this year and I've crashed. I have crashed hard. And now I'm just like, get books away from me. I've read my first book in four days today. My first book. And I was supposed to start the owls. I only started today. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jay. I've let you down. <laughs> no, I'm just laughing because you're like, I read the first day in like four days. I'm going like, to make quite a month. <laughs> 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 That's nothing. You're fine. I know. I know. I know. I'm sorry. But yeah, I just, I, I don't think I could have gotten into it. So I just, I didn't have it physically. I only have the audiobook on script. Um, and I just, I don't think, yeah, I just, I, if I had the physical copy, I would have tried. But no, I, ain't nobody got time for that, AJ. Ain't nobody got time for that. That's fair enough. It is a, it is a chunky book as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jade, what, what did you think, Jade? Any any thoughts on your brief? I, I kind of went into it thinking I was going to hate it, which would not have helped with the mindset going into it because it's obviously very heavily compared to Nevernight, supposedly a better version of Nevernight or whatever people say. And I didn't like Nevernight. So I went into this thinking, if they're similar, I'm not going to like this either. And then got to the 50, 60 page mark. Well, I say, and then got, it took me about 10 days to get to the 50, 60 page mark. And I was just so bored, did not care and stopped. Good on you, mate. Did you see, a, did you see, a, <laughs> did you see another night vibe in there? In the fact that I didn't like it and was bored? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Angela says, did you see a polar vibe? Not at all, but I'm assuming that comes through much later, but I didn't get any yeah. vibes the at that 60 pages. The world is on like a... Yeah, the world is on like a strip and the, the polar caps are like closing in and like shrinking the world. I, now that you mention, I don't even know that I clocked what like season it was there at all. I just like automated into like Game of Thrones gnarly English weather. <laughs> Fair play. Yeah, it's like it's pretty cold where they are and they go out into the Arctic like snowy bits at points anyway. <laughs> See, Jade, that's 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 your interest, Jade. Yeah, I like <laughs> snow. <laughs> Arctic adventure, find me up. But no, I just was uh -huh. bored. But as I say, I think I had that like preset image of never night, not gonna like it, I'm gonna be bored. Therefore, yeah. I was bored and didn't like it. <laughs> mm. I blame myself entirely. Bex, what about you? Um, so I got to just a little bit under where G was. I think I got to page 140-ish. Um, and mm -hmm. I was in the car listening to the audiobook and I wasn't hating it. Like it was a bit of a slow read, but I, I was quite enjoying it. And then there was a distinct animal abuse scene. Mm -hmm. And I was just distraught in my car because I just didn't see it coming. G's what? looking like, I don't yeah. remember that scene, Beck. What? <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's like a... Is that the donkey? Unless I'm losing it. Yeah, the donkey or something, the mule. I don't know what animal yeah, it was, but yeah. it was being abused and I was in the car and I wasn't okay. What the hell? And it, it was like 100 page 140, I think it finished. Um, and, yeah, I, it was only three days before the live show and I was like, I can't even with this right now. I need a bit of a space before I jump back into it. But I, I do think I'll keep reading eventually. Yeah. Um, but I, know, just, I know a few people that have dropped out at that point because of that reason. But you think you'll... G, are you, you looking it? for it, G? <laughs> I think I have just repressed it or something because I do not remember it at all. This is really like... Anyway, this is just really jarred my mind. <laughs> yeah, so that's where I stopped it, but I, I won't hate it. And you, you think you're going to pick it up again? Yeah. Good. So when I get over the abuse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take a breather from that. Cody, you enjoyed it. Yeah, <laughs> bring, it's one of my faves. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you know, one of my faves getting bashed after yes. Star Sorry. Um, oh, sorry. 
it's fine. <laughs> no, honestly, it's such a slow start. I remember when I first read it, I was so bored up until like about 100 pages. I was like, I do not see the hype with this. But I kind of pushed through to like page 200 and I was like, okay, this is my new favorite thing ever. So it's just a really slow start, I think, for a lot of people. And it's just about pushing through that pit. So I completely understand why so many people DNF'd it because it's a lot at the beginning. And the good stuff doesn't really start until like you've got all the information and you know all of the characters and stuff. So yeah, I understand, but still one of my faves because of the friendships, especially. I love, and I love that it's like a dystopian world as well with, like you said, the ice caps kind of forming. And the magic, the training the parts of the of the um, nunnery. Did anyone get to any training parts? I don't know whereabouts that is in the book. Yeah, and that's what I was kind of looking forward to because I was like, oh, I'll just push through until like the magic school because obviously that's my job. Yeah. But then I got to it and it was just kind of like, wah, wah, and I was like, okay. But I didn't get too many. Like I had like maybe three classes. and Yeah. yeah. It was like, the poison one and like oh she sat on the prick oh great mm, mm -hmm. yeah well i read it as well before we did this and i also really enjoyed it so there's there's two of us backing up this book is there anyone else in chat has anybody else said they enjoyed it but um i thought the character dynamics were really good in it as well um but there's sort of hate to love relationships going on and reverse of that as well and there's definitely some complicated, like, throughout the whole series as well. But in the first book, there's, like, complicated friendships, um, which I think is really good to see, like, explored. Um, and I love Abbess Glass. I think she's amazing and better yeah. than Dumbledore, in my opinion. <laughs> I see that. I see that. I love Nonna as well because she's she shows a lot of vulnerability. Like, she's almost this. And it plays with the chosen trope, too, which I really like it kind of yeah. spins that on its head a little bit and I love her as a character because she does get compared to Mia a lot but I feel like Nona Gray she like um just shows a lot more vulnerability sooner I think than Mia did in Nevernight anyway yeah for sure. yeah probably because she's younger as well so we see her from you know the beginning than you did with Mia in Nevernight but I see the comparisons I think that's another people in there for the friendships mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, the relationships. I definitely think that was like the highlight of the book. Mm -hmm. Definitely. And some really oh. epic moments as well in the last book that like, so good. <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. <laughs> it was good. There's some good, some good moments throughout the series, really. Mm -hmm. um, just gonna get yeah, through the first one. It was just a bomb <laughs> this time, unfortunately. Didn't, didn't go down well. Does anybody mm -hmm. else have any points in the chat or? or any of us you like to discuss for Red Sister? I thought, I thought you said that as the series went on, you liked it less and less, though. I do, yeah. I think my the first book was definitely my favorite, for oh. sure. I think, I, think it, I don't know if I want to continue with it because I'm just already like. I, I think, think my second um, second book was my favorite, but it does kind of fin wrap up really quickly as a series. But then we are getting right. the next book in the new series at the end of this month, which is exciting. So. Mm -hmm. I think there's there's definitely some moments in the second book that I really love, um, especially like, like character moments that I really enjoy. And and as I say, like the character relationships throughout the series are really great. Um, I think overall, I think, yeah, it started strong for me and tailed off. But even by the end, it, it didn't it didn't become bad. I just became a little bit less hyped for it. I'd mm -hmm. still it would still be a series I recommend. I mean, obviously, it's not gone down well this time. But um, I'd still say to people to give it a go, give it a try. It might have also be the time that we try to read this. Obviously, the world yeah. is hard for, so it's hard to focus for, on things. And obviously, this is not the most cheerful of books. Like, the girl goes through a lot of stuff, and it's not fun. She's, like, sold and stuff. So that definitely, you know, I don't, I don't read fast, but I don't read that slow. <laughs> so I'm thinking that might have been a factor as well. And also the fact that it's about children if it's yeah i'm not you know don't usually have the best times with that for myself personally <laughs> i definitely think the time that we read it or tried to read it yeah it's been playing hard. a big factor in this yeah. one i don't think any of us blame the book 
No. As I said, the writing is actually nice. Like, I do like it. It's just I just couldn't connect to save my life. And it felt, like, mm -hmm. so forced that I, at the end, I was like, why am I doing this? <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, like, why am I keep pushing myself? Like, I know it's just not going. And perhaps yeah. naturally we would have all pushed ourselves a bit more. But in yeah. the current climate, like, why push yourself to do something you really want to do when yeah. you don't want to do even now? Attention like, span capabilities were, like... <laughs> yeah. It happens. Yeah. It happens. Well, has anybody been reading anything that I have really enjoyed then, on the other hand, other than Red Sister? Um, I oh, I just read The Cruel Prince and I didn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That was so boring. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, but sorry. I think you misheard the question. Oh, sorry, what did you say? <laughs> no, it's fine. Spill, spill the tea. Spill the tea. Oh, sorry. Is that, um, I haven't read that one. Is that, is, I know I've heard people talk about it. Is oh, yeah. it one that people really love? Yeah, apparently so. I like that. Uh, you yeah, liked so. it? Uh, the Wicked King is so fun. I haven't read the last one yet, though. I'm, I'm I'm gonna, I'm, fun. It takes a little while to get into them, but they're, they're just yeah. like fun. They're I'm still going to read fun. Wicked King. <laughs> Yeah, I'll still read Wicked King. Like, it, it hasn't put me off the series or anything. I just didn't really like it that much. It was the same with Curse or Dark and Lonely. I just didn't really like that, but I, I, I continued. So, mm -hmm. yeah, sorry. Sorry, AJ, was the question something you have read recently that were liked? That you enjoyed, yeah. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a bleak time for you, Gab. Uh, it's my hearing as well. I think that you've enjoyed Crescent City, though, Gab. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love Crescent City. <laughs> Oh gosh! Oh, it did things to me. I mean, Cody, you finished it, so say it was fun, and I love things that can be a bit twisty and a bit surprising. And I think it definitely did that towards the end. Left me with major blue balls, though. But yeah, other than, yeah. But I don't think it was that surprising. I thought there was a lot of plot conveniences, and it was a little bit tropey, <laughs> but it was so much fun. Yeah. Like, in retrospect, I gave it a four, and now I'm thinking maybe it's more of a three point five. But at the time. Yeah. Yeah. so much fun just what i needed like such a good distraction oh yeah, yeah that's exactly what i wanted from red sister but i mean obviously i didn't try <laughs> but yeah. like with Cres with crescent city it was like it is that thing i gave it a i initially gave it a four bumped it up to a five because i thought you know what this is like kind of stuck with me a little bit like mm -hmm. it, it's re very memorable uh mm -hmm. definitely something i enjoy like if i can really enjoy it and because i i've read too much and there's a lot where it's just went right over my head yeah. Um, but that one, it, it went right in. It went right in. Yeah, and not yeah everything well, it did it, did it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but you think the first oh, half is so slow? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Jay? I said spoilers. Oh, oh sorry, yeah. <laughs> first half is so slow, though. Yeah, like, it, it took me, like, 400 pages till I was, like, actually cared. But then it got so good. <laughs> yeah, did well, you say 400? Oh, yeah. well, I, I think like maybe like a lot, a lot like, something does happen like about the 60 ish page mark, which I think is spoiled for a lot of people because it's on the oh, back of the book. Yeah. So that happens. That was good. But then after that, it tailors off it for about, like, yeah, whoa. about 300 pages. Yeah. <laughs> it's and it's like, like what? usually, like, if someone had to go that far before they'd, you know, start to enjoy it, I'd be like, don't bother. Like, 400 pages are just going to be mm -hmm. annoying. But I mm. feel like it was kind of worth it. And at that point, you're yeah. already 400 pages in, you might as well finish it. Yeah. yeah, I don't know if I can make it. Like usually around like 150. If it's a struggle, then <laughs> it wasn't a struggle though. It was just it was just all right, and mm. then it got good. Like, yeah, like the right. writing's just so yeah. easy to get into. Like I think even with it being slow, you can just like really fall into it, even if it is quite slow, because you just like, you'll, you'll flick pages very quickly, um, and then it by was the funny, time it, it was, was funny. funny. The banter was, was good. It was a little bit cheesy at times, but the banter was really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know me, it takes a lot to get me, um, especially with, like in the romance department. Mm -hmm. Usually I can put that in the bin. Mm. But I Same. was on board. I was kind of on board. Same. I was confused. I was, like had a whole <laughs> identity crisis. I was like, fuck, I like romance now? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was. You so guys. Is it better ask. than uh, other series? Is it better than Hakatar and yeah. Yeah, I feel I like the main that, character though. has more agency than yeah. like Feyre did. I feel like yeah. it's better. I've mm. only read the first Sakatal book, so I can't really compare with other Sarah J. Mars books. Yeah. 
It gave me a little bit Shadow Hunters vibes because of the world, mm -hmm. because of all the different things. Not the, not the writing or anything like that, but just like the world. Yeah. And also kind of bone season slightly. Gav, oh, did you get yeah. that? Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. It had that kind of that sense that of it being yeah, especially yeah, um, like the dead district, like mm -hmm. the bone district. That was yeah. cool. Did I think more from book two. Did it actually feel more adult? Because this one is supposed to be adult, but I don't oh. know changed it because like obviously everyone was saying like Akmak was supposed to be adult yeah I mean the yeah. only thing that really made it adult was that it felt more violent like it was mm. more swear words and it was just a more violent kind of tone but yeah. like, the not excited about the 400 pages thing but I'm excited overall about it but now a bit scared about the 400 thing <laughs> oh don't worry about it like seriously but also she uses the word the C word a lot as well. I'll not say it out loud, mm -hmm. but you know what C word I mean, Jay. My favorite C word, but that word and that used a lot. So I think you'll get through it very well. I think you'll get through it very well. And Bunny says, Bex, Jess, and her uh, enjoying their buddy read. What are you buddy oh, we... reading, Bex? Uh, we're rereading the Hunger Games uh, trilogy. Um, so we read, well, we're reading Catching Fire. I've already finished. I think Bunny and Jess are about up to chapter 15. Um, and then we start mocking Jay this month for the owls. Nice. nice. Is it a reread yeah. and it's for all of you? or No, it's Jess's first read, which is very entertaining. <laughs> I bet it is. I bet it is. Because she keeps making comments that we know the answer about. Has <laughs> <laughs> she not seen the movies either? No, she hasn't seen the movies either. Wow. So it's it's very entertaining, but I love that series, so I'm just enjoying a reread of it. Yeah. Is yeah. it still as good as you remember though? Or yeah. Is it, yeah, okay. I thought maybe it would have been like um when people revisit things years later, it's probably not as good. But oh that's no, good. I still it's love it. Interesting like association with that because that's the only series that I read when I <laughs> it's just really weird. Um I read it. I read all three books, like a book a day, which is, first of all, very unusual for me. It was back then, back at uni, when I wasn't reading any like non-uni related stuff. And um, for every book, I had almost like 40, 41 degrees fever. <laughs> so I have great memories of that time just overall. <laughs> it was such a trip. It was great. I <laughs> <laughs> a dream of a book. We have some uh, mm -hmm. middle grade books. Oh, oh Nevermore. Never oh, my heart. Pinch of Me magic. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm reading that one next month. Oh. That. I'm so excited. I'm probably going to binge the series. Let's be real. You should. The first two books, and well, actually, there's only two books so far. Pinch of magic. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. It can. It makes people who don't even like middle grade love middle grade. So when I'm excited. Sorry. When is it happening? I keep meaning to like join one of them, like, but I need to find a good book to start because I'm afraid of middle grade. Well, not afraid. But, like, I had very no great experience other than Harry Potter, but that's different because I read it as a kid. <laughs> that's fair. You should definitely start with Pinch of Magic. That one, I think Jade can attest to it as well. It's one of those ones where you can just read it and oh, just absolutely fall in love with it because it's so yeah, well written and it's so good. It, <laughs> so good. Um, but yeah, you should totally. Totally get that, totally get that. Pinch Magic, Michelle Harrison. Get on it. Jesus Christ, no. Cat. Why no. did I know? Definitely not bad then, Frosthawk, because okay. Frosthawk's my number one. <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody read any fantasy in translation? I'm not sure if I have. Hmm. Hmm. No. I don't think so. I don't know if I have. Not That's that I think to me. Not yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Jade, are you reading anything good at the moment, or what was your last good read? Me? Mm -hmm. um, in the month of March, I read a total of two books. Strong, I like it. Yep, it, it was a good month for me. One of those was A Sprinkle of Sorcery, which was absolutely delightful, and we've just been talking about a pinch of magic, so... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Marvellous. Is it a duology, um, or is it a trilogy, or...? It will be a trilogy. Yeah. Or potentially more. more. Potentially more. She yeah. doesn't know when we no were saying that. Yeah, nobody knows. Uh, Michelle says that there might be more, but we don't know yet. We I'm going to gift you guys all of these books, honestly. I mean, obviously, Cody's already got them, but all you guys, I'm going to send you them. 
That's okay. Cover's beautiful. <laughs> Look at that orange as well. Like, that's the color mm -hmm. I want my mm -hmm. hair to be, but instead it's green. <laughs> <laughs> uh, really this tend to have really pretty colors. There are yeah. so many gorgeous ones. Mm -hmm. So many. Mm -hmm. okay, Dark Shade colors. of Magic. Has everybody read that? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Really good. Thumbs Jake's up. never read it. Everyone. Darker Shade big. of Magic? Who's that by? Yeah, big <laughs> thumbs down. <laughs> love it. Love I love the last book. The first the first okay. one was yeah. good. The second one was... It's it's a duology, as far as I'm concerned. The middle book. <laughs> oh, yeah, you hated the middle one. <laughs> it, was, it was a pointless middle book. <laughs> I still need to finish the... I love the last book. Yeah. Yeah. I still, so need to still haven't finished that? No, I've been reading it for months. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yeah, I'll get I'll get around to it at some point. <laughs> we got uh, the Wicked Deep. Has anybody read that? Oh, yeah. yeah. Or all the stars and tea. What are we yep. saying? Thumbs up. We've got somebody who's not yeah. sure. Olivia's not sure. Are we saying press through and keep reading or? Wicked Deep. I I, I enjoyed. Yeah, yeah, it was good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Same. Mm -hmm. Haven't read the other one though. The other one I've read next yeah, review is full. I've got it because it was in Owl Crate, but I haven't read it yet. But I like mermaid books, so probably going to give it a go. Is that um, by the same person that did the, the portal thing where the kids go through the portal? And come, the no, one that I you think want, you're maybe. thinking of uh, The Drowning Deep. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, oh. I read that. That's so good. Yeah. That's oh, that's horrible. good. That's so good. So good. Oh, oh, I loved it. it. Big praise, big praise. It's very science based. I think like G would like it. Ooh. I'm actually going to write it that way. Mm -hmm. Is it the same writing style as her other books though? Because you didn't like it. No, no, because G didn't no. like it. So I was, I wouldn't, yeah, because okay. it's quite different. Wait, that's the same by, by Shannon Maguire? Yeah, but it's yeah. a pen name by Myra Grant. So it's the same person that write it? Yeah, but it's a different, yeah. it's a different tone completely. How do they do that? I'm so surprised. Like, how does J.K. Rowling write Harry Potter and what's it called? PC Peter Grant or something? Like the, yeah, the Worm series, the Cuckoo's Calling one. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Red Strike. Red, is Red, it Cormoran Strike? Cormoran Strike. Yeah. Ah, uh, that's what's called. How does she do that? Like, how do people write the same? Like, how is it? How are they the same person but write two completely mm -hmm. different things? So that like, Myra Grant and Sean and Maguire, it's. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. It blows my mind. <laughs> Can we analyze this for a second? <laughs> How do they do it? So Ghost they, writers. They change their name for a reason, or just like. I guess it's so the. Well, I mean, it's the style. Yeah, the the, yeah. the Corman Strike Detective series isn't really the same as Harry Potter. So if people have follow, followed like J.K. Rowling for Harry Potter, and then they pick up a detective murder novel, it's not the same, is it? So it's kind of like. To keep it, no, in. yeah, but I was mainly talking about like Sean McGuire because, like, I know for JK Rowling, but like, I think it's probably a similar reason. Like, everything by Sean and McGuire is very fantasy orientated, and then her Myra Grant, the people like, like me who didn't the other ones, hmm. deception. But then you look at Stephen King and his Backman series, and it's like he probably just did that to see if he could still do yeah. well under a different name because it's. I think they're very still very horror based. I've only read The Long Walk though, but I loved it. Could he though? Did it succeed? Mm. Yeah, his Batman books I think did well. I don't know. I'm not a Stephen King. Like I guess the problem is is like how long they can keep it under wraps before people find yeah. out who it is. Yeah. I also wonder if they released information when it's like the most you know needed to like boost mm. the sales and stuff. I mean that's that's what they said about the Corman Strike series that it was it was doing okay, and then as soon as everybody found out it was J.K. Rowling, it just took off. Yeah, yeah. interesting. I it was all right. I imagine the publishers and like agents being super happy with like, oh, we could do this this amount of sales, but because of the <laughs> different name, we're not gonna do like this amount of sales compared. Mm -hmm. So they probably come in some sort of like agreement that we're gonna release the info after that. Sorry, unrelevant, like not relevant, but it's just interesting. No, it's bookish, it's bookish chat. It it with just thinking. Has anybody read the Great Library series by Rachel Kane? 
I've not heard of it. No. I don't think. No. No. Sure, no. Should we? <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Cody? Have you read anything good recently? Um, the best book I read recently was And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. I loved Ooh. it. Loved it so yeah. much. I was in the mood for like a thriller and they were just kept letting me down. But that one, mm -hmm. genius. Loved it. Nice. I heard uh, Murphy was talking about that on her channel. Every day mm. saying it's a really good mystery as well. It's really good. Yeah, some more, Sorry, which, which more book? Goodness. And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. Mm. I've been to read it for ages. She definitely is the one who rolled major on the Orient Express. Yes, that's the one I'm yeah. going to pick up next. Her, she did like Poirot and uh, Miss mm. Marple. Yeah. I'd definitely be meaning to start reading her books because it just seems so fantastic. I'll start mm. with And Then There Were None. It's really it's good. It's a little bit confusing at the beginning because there's a lot of characters, but it's one of those where you'll retain what you need to know. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. But it's good. It's really good. Nice. Hey, wait, is that a TV show as well or like a movie or something? Oh yeah, it, it would have been adapted a few times. Yeah, more than once, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been lo reading loads of Frederick Backman's books recently, so anything by him I can probably recommend. If you like contemporary, I'd say definitely give it a go because <laughs> it's very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you not like it, Jade? I don't read contemporary. I can't. Oh, okay. Really all <laughs> inside. I do not get on with it at all. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't really read much contemporary, to be honest. I think I read A Man Called Uber because it had a cat on the cover and I needed a prompt with a cat on the cover for the owls like a while ago. And I read it. I was like, I love this. It's like one of my so favorite. So good. Books. So good. I love that book. Uber. <laughs> what was that, Jay? I thought you said A Man Called Uber. <laughs> that. Someone should write that. Yeah. <laughs> this reminds me of Gilmore Girls. Of, no, this is Uber. <laughs> I'm still on season four. Oh, guys. Start with me. You need to watch it. Jeez. I know. I know. <laughs> Your life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like I the last a single episode of it. Oh my god, it's so um, good. How do I listen to this chat? <laughs> <laughs> Um, but for, oh, for contemporary wise, because I don't really read a lot of it either, but I did just finish, I mean, the first book I finished this month and my one for the owls is um, The Distance Between Me and the Cherry Tree by Paola Peretti. And that's about a nine year old girl who starts losing her sight. So she's, I, it's, it's heartbreaking. It is like very sad. Um, it's very like beautifully done, very beautifully written because it's own voices. The authors found out that she only has like nine months before she completely loses her sight. So she wrote it as if she was like a nine year old girl. And mm. like, yeah, it's oh, it's so poignant and so good. Oh. I, I don't typically read contemporary either. I'm with Jade on that one. But sometimes when you just know there's a, a, a premise that you know will be really good, that was that was one of them. So that was a really good book. I think I'm far too of a little emo bitch to deal with that though. <laughs> like they would just break me and you'd, yeah. I, would, I just wouldn't recover. Yeah. I feel like as a kid, but mm. like if you were like an old person, that's why I can't never read the Man yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that would break me. I could not recover. <laughs> That's the official name for that now. The man called yeah. Uber. <laughs> we are currently reading a contemporary with AJ. So, although I think Chris commented in one of the my like videos that you really hated it, Gap. The, Which one? Uh, the oh Black my god! Year. Flat chair. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> oh, I hate that one so much. Oh. Okay, so we're just like in the middle, but don't spoil it because I'm actually enjoying it. Oh god, I, 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 I won't. You know, I won't spoil it. But like, do you not think the characters are so flat? Like, con con literally flat chair. It's the characters are flat. She literally, she must have done that on purpose. <laughs> like, honestly, like, so. wait until you get to the end, right? Um, and then you know, like, I won't spoil it or anything. But the ex boyfriend is the main problem. So yeah, he's the main problem. When you get to the end, Ooh. let me know. Oh, um, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's just oh my god, oh it's oh. <laughs> <laughs> triggered. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I finished it on read my it now. I'm like I'm, we're only in like halfway, but I think they're like opposite of flat. I'm really enjoying it. Oh, that's fine. Really super flat. <laughs> that's fine. I I, I mean, yeah. true. One of the reasons why I didn't like it as well was because I finished it on my birthday last year and it was such a crap birthday present. <laughs> so, yeah. 
Are you enjoying it, AJ? Yeah, I think it's it's decent. Like, I can't see it being a top read, but I don't think it's bad by any means. Like, it won't drop below a three at the moment, I don't think. So mm. we're probably in the three to four star range, I would imagine. Mm. I know. That, it's keeping me reading, and that's, like, more than I could ask at this point. <laughs> that That's fair. At least it's not What If It's Us, because that one, <laughs> I am triggered. <laughs> so it's definitely better than that, so I, I'll give it that. If I ever read it and if I like it, I'm just going to hide it from you. <laughs> oh, my God, if you're like, what if it's a... I don't think you will, though. I genuinely don't think you will. But I, I don't know. I'm not I, I, I'm reading it anytime soon. But when it was announced, I was super excited for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was too. <laughs> Heartbroken. This is like my Leon the off beast. Yeah. I think I guess just like Becky Albertalli is kind of falling off the radar now. Maybe. I know Jade hated Simon, so... I, I'm not even going to oh. contribute to this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I will read it eventually. Why? And Danny says, do we have any five-star predictions from Al slash April TBR? Ooh, good question. Somewhere. Yeah, good question. I need to remember what's on it. Uh, a Sans Apprentice. Yes, Apprentice. yes, Jade. Yes. I am currently... 120 pages in. How are you finding it? I'm really enjoying it. Yes! Yes. <laughs> it gives me so many great coats vibes. Oh, um, it's, coats, so. it's so good. Just just be um, emotionally yeah. prepared, though, because I forgot there's a couple of really heartbreaking parts. Because <laughs> well, I read it. Sure I, I want that, but okay. <laughs> yeah, just just what just like pre warning you because I forgot about them on like rereading it for Elderling along, and I was like, oh crap! I maybe should have given people a heads up about this. <laughs> yeah. Is it like people heartbreaking or animal heartbreaking? Because I can see animal heartbreaking happening multiple times. I'm it... gonna stay stum because I don't want to spoil <laughs> anything. Okay. Yeah, but it's right. such a good, it's such a, a good a story. Book, that one, isn't it? Oh, I love it though. It's so good. I'm really, really enjoying it. Yes. yes. There, there wasn't as much assassining in in there that I from the title. I was like, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of assassinating. He's yeah. an apprentice. Oh, wow. He's not going to be killing people yet. <laughs> Thinking wow. of doing and plotting it. It's very logical. <laughs> Shadowing the actual assassins. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> there's there's more killing to come in the series. Hurrah! <laughs> yes. Yay, murder! Woo! <laughs> JD was sadistic. <laughs> Anybody else got any five star predictions for the month? I Ooh. think I a Wizard of Earthsea. I think Wizard of Earthsea. I mean, yeah. that for the first time. Yeah, I, I can't wait. I'm so excited for it. Yeah, I think I'm going to wait until like closer to the live, though, to pick it up because I'll forget. I don't even know when the live is, so I may have to do I the don't same. Know. Yeah, I think it's end of the month. I, I don't know. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> she'll, she'll let us know. She'll let us yeah. know. What book is that? The Wizard um, of Earthsea. Earthsea. Yeah. It's Lily really Queen. Uh, yeah, it's like a very fairy tale, that one. It's because I have all of It was enjoyable. It was a nice, a nice easy read. Mm -hmm. Oh, good, good. And it can be classed as middle grade, right? It can, like, it's saying yeah. kind of spans the age ranges. So it can be like middle grade, yeah. it can be adult. So I love books like that. I look it kind of a little bit Harry Potter esque. -ish. Yeah, like I, I listened to the audio book of it, and it was very almost like it could have been a bedtime story sort of vibe. Oh, place. like that. Someone read read me to sleep. Just, yeah. Is it a bit like Breath of the Wild, Legend of Zelda? Because I don't know why, but it gives me that vibe. I've seen it being played. But, um, mm -hmm. I just want something like that. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it at the minute, and that's what I want. I want to get nice adventure-esque story like that yeah i think you'll i think you'll get it i think it's, it's a nice chill read good good what about sci-fi recommendations anyone got any sci-fi recs mm. Mm. um yeah. long way to a small angry planet yes and then uh sleeping giants oh yeah love they said they've read the famous yeah. files and loved it oh, oh yeah this files so good <laughs> illuminate <laughs> Mm -hmm. Binti, Binti was good. I read that. Was that was good. good. Oh, I liked that one. Mm -hmm. I meant to read it, but then someone said it was shy, so it didn't. But so, yeah. <laughs> no, it's good. <laughs> I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was bad, but it didn't like blow me away. I thought it was it was solid. I, I yeah. Probably pick up the rest, but I didn't, mm -hmm. it wasn't. 
I didn't like want to rush to them sort of thing, but it was yeah. decent. And they're only short as well, aren't they? Mm -hmm, so. mm -hmm. I gave it a four. I thought it was quite cleverly done because it was so short. Mm -hmm. And it was like still beautiful. Red as well. Oh, Second I need to try that. Out. I really enjoyed We Are Legion. Really enjoyed. But also, Dark Matter. Can I say it again? Yeah. <laughs> and Recursion. And Recursion, yeah. Yeah. The other. Maybe not back to back. <laughs> and I will read those one day. I, I have Recursion, Dark Matter, and Name of the Wind on my list because of you guys. So Name I'm, of the Wind, so good. Yeah. I can totally get if people DNF like name of the one. I feel like it's a little bit similar to like Red Sisters and like if you don't push through a little bit at the beginning. Yes. That's why I'm waiting for like the perfect time to read it. I need to be in the in the headspace for something dense. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I, I'll I'll wait. I'll wait for that one. But mm -hmm. I'm excited. It's so good though. Mm. AJ, did you end up reading the We Are Legion? I can't remember. Um I DNF'd it. Oh. I, I just, I, just I, it. <laughs> I think it's very the Martian in terms of the uh, writing style yeah, and I, humor. I love the Martian, if you, but... Yeah, if you like the Martian, I think you'll like this because it's. I think they're written so good, very much the same. But um, I was so bored. I was just like, I, <laughs> I, I don't get that at all. I was not bored even in the slightest, like one bit. I mean, I don't want to spoil it, but yeah, I was. Yeah. <laughs> I get it though. I get why people would enjoy it. It's quite humorous, quite funny. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Any opinion uh, on Hazelwood? Someone's got here. Uh, uh, I've had it for the longest time as well. It's just <laughs> it was just ridiculous. It made no sense towards the end, and it was a complete departure from the first half, the second half, and no. Drag it, Cody. Yeah. Drag it. I can't even remember that much about it. I just remember like reading the end and being like, what the hell was that? Like really disappointed with it, but I can't really mm. remember that much as to why exactly. But I feel like a lot of people had the same opinions at the time when I read it though. It was a lot of people being like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> so so Alison's saying there's a lot of hype around the sequel. So are you, are you intrigued for a sequel or are you just, you're done? Wait on the reviews, usually mm. my thing. It was one of those like polarizing books. Like people either loved it or mm. really did not. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Nominee in betweeners. It's been on my shelf for ages, and I've had Same. absolutely no yeah. feeling for it. Mm. Same. It's one of those ones that I've been like debating unhauling for about a year. <laughs> but that's nice sprayed edges. <laughs> that's the only reason I've kept it. <laughs> I know I'm so shallow. <laughs> Do you guys have any auto buy offers? What's your <laughs> well, Samson? <laughs> yeah, who? <laughs> who's that guy? I've not heard of him. Please tell mm. me more. <laughs> yeah, Sanderson. Also, nah, actually, I take it back. I was going to say Christina Henry, but then uh, I didn't like Red Queen. What did they write? Oh. Um, they did like they do the uh like fairy tale retellings but like horror versions so yeah. alice was pretty yeah. messed up but peter pan the one lost boy is one of my favorite books from last year i love lost boy it's so good peter pan is so creepy like such a mm. creepy kid in that book it's great <laughs> i loved it nice, nice. yeah i think blake crouch is the only one for me oh I've, yeah blake crouch i haven't read his like previous one which i do want to read um but i just because i know that he's apparently improved quite a bit so it's kind of like reading not as good books now <laughs> if i go back but i might still do it and see if i like it um but if he comes out with something new i, I will get it <laughs> nice mm -hmm. jade have you got any sebastian absolutely victoria <laughs> schwab absolutely sure. mm -hmm. think it, just them two but yeah, I, yeah. um jade i think um that invisible life of adi LaRoe is on neck alley are you requesting yeah. it? It's on US Net Galley, isn't it? Ah. I looked for it on UK Net Galley. I don't think it's on there. Ah, that's disgusting. I know. <laughs> Have you got any auto boy offers, Bex? Anyone you always uh, Yeah, probably um, Sarah J. Maas and V. Schwab mm. would be probably my two auto buys. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Anderson. Anderson for me. I don't think I've got any others. Yeah. 
Maybe. I need to get all of Sanderson's other stuff. I've only read Skyward and Starsight. I really like, I read uh, Starsight this month and I, oh no, not last month, last month. And I really enjoyed it. It was so different to Skyward though. So I didn't like, I didn't love it as much, but I still thought it was really good. Mm. Yeah, I thought it was good. I, it was very different, though. But you should yeah. definitely do his adult fantasy stuff. Really if, if his characters are still as great as they are in Skyward, because yeah. I think his they're characters better. are just... They're, they're better. better. No they're way. Better. No yes. way. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay. Especially Stormlight, but I wouldn't oh, suggest yeah. starting with Stormlight. <laughs> Stormlight. You know me. <laughs> you know me. Mm. If it's not the size of this, then... <laughs> <laughs> I won't get it. <laughs> that apply to multiple things in your life. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, that so much. <laughs> That's how you know you get me. It's when I snow. <laughs> <laughs> but you know it. Oh, <laughs> so cute. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do it. Is that the sequel to the the King Arthur retelling? Once oh, in yeah, Future. Yeah, off retelling, I believe. Is it oh, no, Once in Future is... Once in Future is the one we did for bingo Yeah, and it was And I don't, know what the, I don't know what this one is. I don't know what this one is. It, Once in Future King is a King Arthur retelling, as far as I'm aware. Okay. I think it's quite chunky, though. I think it's quite big. Yeah. Mm. Is there another one, another King Arthur retelling with a similar name, then? Yeah, oh, yeah. Once in Future, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> is, that, is that not a good reaction? It's not a good one. No, it has I mean, potential. It, it it had so much potential. It just kind of didn't see it all the way through, and it kind of tailored off. Um, mm. But I, yeah, it, it, I mean, it was all right at the time. But looking back on it now, mm. a little bit of a waste of time. On the topic of King Arthur retellings, I read one of the Deception this month. Was, was it good? That I, it wasn't great. It was a high mm. three star for me. Like it wasn't great, but it surprised me. That it was good. Hmm. <laughs> nice, nice. Well, we're coming up to the end of the hour here, so a nice, light, fun question. If you're going on a road trip, two fantasy characters to take with you, and answer in the chat as well. And if you do have any last questions to to give us, Gav, I I'm have a in like from Instagram as well that we can answer. Oh yeah, oh, actually, mm-hmm. you've got any other questions? Um. Two fantasy characters. Or well, fictional characters. Any fictional characters. And it has to be from books. I've got mine. I'll give, I'll give you any fictional character. Any fictional ha- character. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's going to be Elsa and Anna. Because they <laughs> technically... I, I have read some frozen books. So technically they are in books as well. Um, but definitely those two. Because I think and they just have so much great Ola? banter. Huh? You would leave Ola? Yeah, because I don't want the car to get cold. I get cold really easily. And he'd have his little flurries. Um, and I'll want the heating on. So <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be answering on. We could sing. He doesn't have his flurry yeah. anymore. He has permafrost now. Oh, fair, fair, yeah. How um, could you forget this detail? <laughs> what can I say? I'm a lie. I'm a big fat lie, Jade. <laughs> you call yourself a fan. I know, mm. I know. I'm the fan. I'm the fan. Yeah, he's got permafrost now, that's true. But uh, now we'll be asking Anna because we could sing short tunes. I know my uh, my friend from work has got like life size replica cutouts in their house of, of the characters from Frozen. <laughs> so <laughs> have I. I. Just gas. Oh, nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> Super fans of the world. Oh, yes. I, I, am tw- I am nearly 28 years old and I have cardboard cutouts of Elsa and Anna from Frozen. <laughs> Do what you like. Love it. <laughs> fair, fair. Gee, did you have any picks or have you got any questions for us that we should be answering? Yeah, someone in the chat just said Weasley twins, so I mean, like, that would be a trip. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but also, I would, I guess, not going to surprise it's going to be Harry Potter, but I would maybe also pick Hagrid and Lupin. I think it would be pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, just not at midnight when there's a full moon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <true>. <laughs> 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 Mine would be Ferrius and Callan. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Good shout. Good shout. Ferrius would be interesting. Ferrius Thanks, would be you got <laughs> Um, Caladin, because he's my baby. 
and I love him so much, and I just oh, want to cuddle him. Your road trip. <laughs> I know, but I just, he's like my perfect little emo boy, and I love him. <laughs> he's so flawed and like, oh, he's, he's my best. Face. Yeah. <laughs> Just um, I don't know who I'd choose. I don't have a bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> have you got anyone, Bex? Anyone you're taking with you? Um, yeah, I'm just going to guess because I feel like I can't look at my shelves to figure it out, um, <laughs> which is hard. <laughs> but I'd probably go with Finnick O'Dare because I'm rereading mm. The Hunger Games and I adore him. Mm. I just love his personality is just great um and then maybe cassian from um Ford <laughs> Mist and fury because like i like the funny guys with me so sure, that's, <laughs> that's all i got right, right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and the good looking ones it's fun both will be fun nice nice i've probably got time for one more question if you've got an instagram question g I do. It's not very bookish related, but I think it's people wanting to find new things to kind of do and watch. So if you have a favorite TV show to recommend. I just started binge watching Parks and Rec again for like the seventh ah, time. Love. I always go from like The Office US, Parks and Rec, The Office US, Parks and Rec. <laughs> okay. I just finished that the other day. So good. Good choice. So Parks good. and Rec. Anything like caught like comedy wise great i need to watch the last season of the good place um mm. but then once i do i'll i'm i'm happy but yeah i would definitely recommend the comedies that and i used to love 30 rock as well mm. i think 30 rock would be good with tina fey um mm. definitely recommend that and charmed yeah and gilmore Girl girls as well and gilmore girls but of course i'm still only halfway through that show and i've been watching mm. it since september so <laughs> And Bob's Burgers as well. Bob's Burgers always cheers me up because it's just silly. I like silly comedy. Mm -hmm. Oh, like does anyone have Disney Plus? Does anyone have Disney Plus? No. Yeah, but I don't really like it that much so far. It, to be, it is nothing really that new on it yet. Yeah. I think it has to. It has to grow. It has to grow. We got that's the free so track and we were like, uh, we only we only really watched National Treasure. One and two, oh. and that was it. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, Love Frozen Nick 2 Cage. is going on in July. So okay. If you Might can keep, keep it till it. July. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love uh, Bojack Horseman on Netflix. It's mm. a good one. Nobody really talks about. It's pretty good. And Fleabag as well. It's another great oh. comedy. I think. Yes, I love Fleabag. So good. So mm -hmm. good. Big mouth, but not for everyone. <laughs> True. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Actually, mm. what that one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I haven't watched anything else you've spoken about. <laughs> <laughs> we just rewatched Brooklyn Nine Nine as well. Mm. Um, mm. Just finished that, and also I really love The Expanse. It's very bingeable, and we've been on a roll for like watching the new Star Trek stuff, but I haven't actually seen the old ones. So, <laughs> big fan. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm enjoying the new ones. I think the mm. card just finished the season, so. Mm -hmm. Oh, The Boys on Amazon was good, if you like. The Boys is good. Yeah. The Boys is really good. Love that funny kind of sci-fi superhero. Love mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Chad and Morty. Yeah. For sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Avatar. <laughs> I need to watch that. I'm still I've on season two. I know I'm giving up. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I think Peaky Blinders as well. I could never get into that, you know. I tried, but I could never get in, get into like it's always sunny and oh, all, I love and perks and oh, like, yeah, like it's all. I only tried like one episode of each, but I cringed my way to hell. Like I couldn't. <laughs> it's always a bit cringe at the beginning, <laughs> though. So it's weird. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. It's the one. Parks and Rec. This one, and oh my god, it gets better and better. Oh, it does. I remember yeah. watching Parks and Rec like from the middle. I think it was the episode. It, you might love it after you hear this, Jay. It's where they kind of are they doing this talk in the middle of this like ice rink, but they oh, haven't yeah. put a carpet down, so they all have to walk to the middle of this ice rink, or like just with normal shoes on, and they're like trying mm -hmm. so hard to mm -hmm. keep up. Mm -hmm. And the song that's playing is like Gloria Estefan, "Get on Your Feet." 
get up and feel the rhythm something like that and, they, mm. and they're just like falling over and it's hilarious like that was the first time i ever watched it and it was hilarious the first couple maybe the first season's a bit cringe but after that oh yeah maybe. so good don't you think actually Massey said to me the other day he was like do you know who ben reminds me of and i was like who and he was like logan do you oh. see it Gav. Oh, yeah yeah actually bit. i do oh yeah oh. A little bit. sweet ben yeah <laughs> it's a good thing <laughs> it is a good thing it is a very yeah. good thing now you have to watch it to find out what we mean yeah I'm mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's, in, he's in the good place though isn't he ben. yeah but he plays like oh. a demon <laughs> <laughs> oh, totally different. Oh, that would be just from looks. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Which one is it? Anyone seen? Has anyone seen in the good oh, yeah. place? Yeah, he's like the evil demon guy. Like, that's like they meet him on the train. Mm -hmm. Like the main demon dude? No, not the main, no. main one. Because um, he's in Nine Nine. Did you guys know? <laughs> yeah. It's funny. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen. Has anyone seen Westworld? Nope. Yes, I love Westworld. Yeah. I don't know if I know it actually continued with the last, like, latest season. Can well, actually, I loved the first season and then it just got really confusing. I, I mean, loved I it. The first I, season. I think it was the strongest one, I think. Mm -hmm. I've not seen season two. And from the trailer of season three, it just looks so different now. Mm. I think it's the season three that we Guys, have. I'm really sorry I have to hop out. WrestleMania is starting. Oh, <laughs> no worries. Enjoy. That has been an hour. So. Bye, Bye, Bye. 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 <laughs> but yeah, that has been an hour of booking <laughs> chat with us. So we should probably end it there so everyone can go to bed and do their thing. Thanks for hanging out with us, everyone. Um, Thanks, put the Paul. link in the chat again. Yeah. Thanks for hosting. Or not a Thank problem. You. The link for the voting for the books is there in the chat. Go and vote for the next Reads book. And we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone. Bye, my loves. Bye. Why?